Well, hello guys. I had to put something because I just go straight into the nail design. This week's nails, I really wanted to do some white tips because of the ring that I had from Sifity. And I just think white tip nails go with anything. So I just, I got my last two designs done and I thought I just want something for myself. So I did wear these nails for two weeks and I loved them. So as you can see, I'm just starting off with prepping my nails. So in this part, I go slow on one hand and really fast on the other for different parts of what I want to do. So the nails I'm using are really straight ones. I think they're from Sarah Birchett. I love these ones. So now I'm using the contraption. <laughs> Just call it a contraption. This thing is worth its weight in gold. Now I've sorted it out and I know how to use it. It is so easy as long as you put your nails on straight. If you don't put your nails on straight, it is a nightmare. <laughs> both hands done quick as a flash so now I am getting the shine off my natural nail this obviously helps addition with the acrylic as well as the primer and dehydrator I put on first if you struggle with lifting one other thing that prevents lift my lifting I, years ago I used to use some cuticle remover and I used to get lifting all the time. So if you really struggle with lifting, try not to use the cuticle remover. Here you can see the items I'm using from Phoenix Glitter. Love this pink lace nail bed. I'm just putting this all over the nail because uh, as you can see from the thumbnail, I do use the stamper technique of getting a French tip. And you know, it was so easy. So after I filed and shaped them, as you can see there, I, I don't know why I'm putting these asterisk things, I did put some base coat on because obviously I'm using gel polish so I want the gel polish to adhere to the acrylic. There's the stamper, any stamper will do, Don't probably don't use a brand new one, use one that's a bit older. And I'm using Madame Glam's Perfect White because that's one of the best whites that I've ever used. So literally, all you do is get whatever colour you're using, stick it on your stamper and stick your nail in. Eventually, stick your nail in. <laughs> and then just rock it from side to side to get like the sides a little bit more done. But I'll show you what I do next to get a better effect. So I'm using Madame Glam's Long Fine Liner and I'm just dipping it in the, the gel polish on the stamper and then I just make a smile line that I'm happy with because when somebody says to you you can have French tip design I instantly go cold, I get that horrible feeling in my stomach because the French tip design in my opinion is one of the hardest ones to do with acrylic or acrogel. This way you stick your thumb or fingers in a stamper and it's done. If you're happy with that, just top coat and you're done. But I just decided to make it, you know, a little bit more fancy just by putting a couple of one line one side and one line the other. I think I'll show you about three nails, how I do it on here, but it is such a good way of getting a French tip design. I absolutely loved this way.
So after all that, then we're done. I did cure each nail for 60 seconds. And then I'm just putting some top coat on to obviously seal the gel polish onto the nail so it doesn't come off like when you're doing your work or washing up or you know with your hands on the toilet whatever <laughs> So next I'm going to do some 3D work. I am using this new brush that I've got from Phoenix Glitter and it's a number two. I think I do go on to a number four later on and I'm using Mermaid and Polar White, both from Phoenix Glitter and I thought this made a gorgeous flower. So I'm just putting a, any, any random crystal on. And then if you haven't seen me do my flowers before, I do wait until that ball of acrylic goes a little bit harder and then I just get the brush and make some flowers. I will let you watch this part because it is a different flower that I've done. I think I've done it once before, but not obviously in these colours. So I will let you watch this and then I'll be back in a minute. By the way, it's harder than you think to try and do a 3D flower and keep in frame, like really hard. So this one, I did too big and I didn't put the, I thought it'd look nice with just white. I didn't like it, it was too big. So with having the gel polish on, it makes it a bit easier to get mistakes off if you don't want them. So again, I wanted more flowers going around the crystal so I just took that one off and then started again with the two-toned acrylic ball. So then I got some of more some more of Madame Glam's white and I just made a few like things coming out the flower, wherever they are, and then I go and put some dots around just using the same brush that I use for the lines. And then I, obviously I do the same on my other hand. After them are done, I just cure them for 60 seconds and I just left them. I never had any problem with it with him staying on. <coughs> Excuse me. Um I didn't put top coat on or anything. So they just stayed on. So the last thing I'm going to do is some cuticle oil. I'm using this one from Phoenix Glitter and it is a peach. And that was it guys. I just wanted something for myself. Obviously, as you can see, this is a, a, a shorter video than what I'm usually doing lately. But I just wanted these for myself. And then there's the ring. Oh, I still can't believe I've got a ring like that. I just look, look at it and think, oh, my, you're so gorgeous. Seriously, I'm in love with that ring. <laughs> really hope you liked how I did this technique. I did see somebody do it, obviously, off, what was it, Instagram, I think. So, you know, it's not all my idea, obviously. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this one. Really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.